Welcome everybody, my name is Ace, and your watch begins with another episode of whatever this line of video creation ended up being. I don't know what it is. I don't have a title for it yet. I'm just checking out games that look interesting, that are recommended to me, and most of the time they're fairly cheap. But you know what is better than cheap? It's free. This is a free game right now, because it's a demo. It's There's no release version of it yet, as you can see at the bottom version, 0.3c. But you can check out the demo um, as that is available, which is what we are doing right now. It's once again an auto battler. Surprisingly, lots of games that are very cheap and interesting and also quite fun are auto battlers these days. I'm not sure if that tells you something about me or about the people that I hang around with, but either way, I'm having a good time. And I think all of us should just start with the game as well. So we can get into it and check it all out. I've played a little bit just to get to see how the controls were and such. Um, and I did unlock this character, which is new to me. Medela starts with a healing wave. Units healed gain 30% attack speed for 7 seconds. Ah, right. So you have a starting character and they get a starting spell. So you have your basic chain lightning, a rain of death meteor looking thing. Ooh, all fire spells plus 20%. Unit healed gain. Oh, so they also have a passive. I just realized that I am so clever and so wise and so perceptive. They also get actual spell cooldown reduction if you go with Prokellus. That's actually pretty good because there are a lot of valuable spells. I mean, the game is called Magic and Monsters, right? So makes sense that the spells are going to be a uh, an important tool. Should we just start with the beginning character? Because at the beginning you have these two. Prokellus and Estrina. Medela's a, a character you unlock after beating the, or trying the game once, I guess? I wonder what the other ones give, because I can't select them or click them. Because we have here uh, the Wishlist Lich King. We have um, some basic demon, like some Warhammer 40k looking inspired Chaos Knight. Uh, a basic skeletal knight. An imp with an armor. And then, um, God, what's that character called? Um, damn. Swain? Swain inspired skin? Oh, there you go. We, we've got it all figured out. Now, once you click on a character, you have to choose your starting units. And you get some starting gold as well. Let's just, um, let's go with some gold. Let's go. These are some basic units. I believe if we let them group up, we can just eviscerate them with our lightning spell. And then we should be able to make short work of them. Very easy. Very good. All right. And after each level, you also get access to uh, an upgrade, which is fairly nice. Uh, I could go for another spell, which is also more gold, which is not bad. I am, however, going to get some more units. I think that's clever. Because you do have um, a selection of units, but you also have gold to consider. As interest equals more gold. More gold means more power. More power means fun. Let's see. We have two lines of upgrades. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to save here and try to ramp? I probably should try to ramp. Let's ramp. Let's ramp. If you are wondering um, if this game is made by a tremendous amount of people. No, I think it's like one dude. So everything looks a little simplistic. You know, this is not some triple A title with a budget of a couple of million. This is just one dude with a vision and he is doing one hell of a job. Ooh, do I want to get some range units or do I want to ramp? You know what? No, ramp. I did commit to the ramp. We're ramping. We get our first little gold interest here. 10 gold bonus each round. Um, I could... I could. Let's get a, an extra upgrade spin. Hmm. Let's get some more of those. Because the, the ironic thing about an upgrade spin is that it also gives you money back. So the first couple of upgrade spins are very valuable um, to invest in, really. So we have a good front line now. We have a, a stout line of dwarves. Did he just get stuck behind that pillar? He did, didn't he? Oh, speaking of getting stuck behind pillars, do you see this in the top left? Am I blind? Is there a dude stuck here? He's stuck there always. Doesn't matter what game it is. He's always stuck. Who is that? Is that a 
is that an Easter egg or is it like some kind of like hidden thing that they hook into so they can facilitate coding uh, or certain trigger certain codes or some shit? I have no idea, but I have seen him now and now I'm worried and concerned. Ooh, uh, maybe some range. Maybe I do have to get some range. As you can see, you have to um, keep in mind your unit cap. So let's just crank that up. Keep our 10. I did say I was ramping, but I'm just wasting my ramp now, aren't I? Maybe I have to play a little bit more careful. Get some lightning in there. Yeah, when you get uh, kills with the lightning, it bounces more, which is very useful. All right, looks good. Level four completed. Do I want to get some more? Yeah, sure, why not? Double down. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. I don't mind the idea. Let's get an extra upgrade spin. Did not get what I wanted. What else is new? All right. Never lucky. If I wait at the right time, I should be able to take out all those mages and a big part of their front line. Very good. Very good. Now, one of the things I would like to see about this game, right? If we can talk about the things that we feel are missing. Because um, the, the concept clearly is here, right? Like, we can we agree that this looks conceptually like an incredible game? I love an out of Beller. But the, you cannot deploy your unit in a formation or something, which sometimes does have negative consequences because there are squishier units, there are range units, and they come out in whatever way they see fit. I'm not sure if there's control over that. If there is, I have missed it. And I apologize if that's the case, but there doesn't seem to be much of a deployment phase. Other than that, I do love passives. I do love the ability to um, create unique playthroughs through the means of uh, RNG. But I also like going big and becoming really, really powerful. So I would love to see more of the good stuff, as well as the deployment phase, as I was saying. Um, trying to buy time to see what I want to upgrade here, because I can think about this for days. But we don't have days, so I think just gonna get another upgrade of the units to get more rangers so that we have ranged superiority although our front line does lack a little bit of superiority as well so we might have to invest in uh, tier 2 units maybe maybe it's time we're still winning with quite an overwhelming force though hmm. let's get some more gold maybe getting Filling up your spells might be nice, because there doesn't seem to be a mana cost, right? Like, there's no mana. There's only a cooldown. And we have cooldown reduction, so using that to our advantage would probably be advised. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to get the tier 2 units. I think that's wise. Yes. I think you can only go to tier 3 right now in this game. Uh, or in the demo, at least. I imagine, uh, based on the uh, available space, we might go beyond that when the game is released. Or even maybe when there's an update in the demo in and of itself. Will this be enough? Am I am I done for? No, no, we're good, right? Am I? Am I good? I'm good. I'm always good. I was never born to be bad. I'm a good boy. Ooh, summon melee. That's one of my favorite spells so far. Very useful. I do, however, feel like I need to get a little bit more oomph, so to speak. Let's get a little bit more health there. All right. Got our bandits. Get the zap going. Yeah, unfortunately, these units are pretty tough, so we don't kill with the zap, so we don't actually get the bounces, which is unfortunate. All right. Our range units will be able to kite quite efficiently. Put a dribble of bandit in there to hold the line. And we're good to go. Ooh, tier 2 units. Slow attack speed, but more damage and decent health. All right. So let's cut down four here. Get those miners. Um, kind of want to get a higher level of 
uh, interest. This is just a lot of units, but they're very weak, so our lightning spells should do quite a bit of work. All right. Oh no, is this the end? They were too much. There were too many. Oh no. Bandits! Get in there. Get in. This is fine. We're good. We can do this. This is fine. We can do this. It's the bandits. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Nailed it. Calculated. That is fine. And totally not a result of my inability to play the game properly. Maybe I do need another. Hmm. Maybe, you know, bless. Let's go bless. Let's, let's be divine and holy. You know, I do need to get some. Hmm. Let's get a little bit of love here. Get some more miners. Drop four here. Add those. Um, you know what? Interest is nice, but if you're dead, you can't do anything anyway. Let's do that. Okay. So we now have an incredible force. Hopefully. We can one-shot the mages. Very good. All right. right, let's. We have buffed our bandit in the back. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're back. We're we, ha we have a power spike. We're good. We're good. This is fine. This is okay. This is 10 out of 10. Maybe get some sand towers? Mm, do I want to get some sand towers? I don't hate the idea of sand towers, but no. We'll go miners. We're dwarves. Short and stout. Mm. Let's go with the potential for upgrading of our current spells. I think that would be wise because our spells are our main source of power for the character we selected to let them fall behind would of course be a waste all right looks like most of them are down with the exception of the big boy in the middle the king and that mage on the top there all right we're looking good let's go for more gold um uh, Let's get an upgrade spin. Priest. Level 2 Bless. Let's go with that. Level 2 Bless. Uh, reduce damage. Increase attack speed for 100%. Okay. If you have a strong unit, that is definitely the way to go. Alright. That's a lot of frog boys. Alright. Our lightning should do quite a bit of work here. All right, get a buff there on that miner. He's just going to carve a path through victory. More lightning. Oh, no. There's a lot of frogs on top. Come on. Get a bless there just in time. And a lightning. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, we are relying on our spells quite... Ooh, speaking of. Yeah, we're relying on our spells quite heavily. Uh, but it's working, so I guess, you know, it's not stupid if it works. Mm, let's get big health upgrade. We're gonna, ru we have ruined our eco entirely, right? but we are beefy now. We're very, very beefy, which is very good. I wonder if it also applies to the summoned units, because they do seem relatively squishy. But honestly, I couldn't tell you if that's because these units are just very tough or something else. Alright, so these guys are indeed gone for. Let's weaken them. We have more bandits coming in. Let's block these from reaching our archers so they can keep firing. Perfect. Look at that. Tactics. No eco, though. This hurts me. Ooh, another spell. Summon ranged. Four archers. Ooh, yeah, so bandits are actually quite powerful. Decent health, good damage, fast attack speed, lots of money. Mm, but I want to get that fourth spell. I think it's a little too important. Um, nope, I want to get a little bit of eco. Just a little bit, just a touch. I believe we can one-shot these mages, so let's make a dent in there. Alright, let's buff him. So we're attacking the mages from behind, the ogres from the front. It's one hell of a party. Alright, beautiful, look at that. It's like I know what I'm doing, which is the best kind of competence. The kind where people believe in you. Um, so we can actually upgrade our melee units or our ranged. Uh, any, mini, miny, mo, someone has to go. All right, melee it is. 
Let's see. Extra upgrade spin. Do I want to get... Um, yes. Now we got the range anyway. You know what? Sometimes you just hit. It's a game of skill after all. Kind of want to unlock the tier 3 units. We're at level 15. So maybe it's about time. Who knows? Let's see how those uh, new units look. Right. They have no weapons. They're just... Oh, they do have weapons. Very nice. Let's get... Oh, look at that. We have mages now. Adorable. Now our offensive spell is AoE based. And... Well, this is more of a boss fight. Luckily enough, we are zerging him. There is power in numbers. Speaking of numbers, mm, I don't like much of anything here. Ooh, do I go with priests? Do I go with alchemists? Do I go with bandits? Uh, it's, it's tricky because alchemists are kind of squish. Uh, let's get a little bit of priest love. Just, just a touch. Just a, just a little bit. Mm. And you know what? We'll add the 10. Because then we can get the priests and all our dwarves sorted as well. Look at that. 50. Perfect. On the money. Didn't I say I was going to go and unlock tier 3 units? I did, didn't I? Alright. Let's get the range in the back. As we have a party in the front. Alright. We have broken their flank. Let's buff him. Because it also gives him damage reduction, which allows him to hold against his overwhelming force. Which buys us plenty of time to get in there. Bless is pretty good. Bless is really good. Um, well, we have currently no spots for units, so money it is. Tier 3 units unlocked. There it is. Tier 3 units unlocked. I believe this is the wave where uh, I died previously, so I'm a little concerned. Um, but we have tactics. And we have mages, so we must be okay. Get some lightning in there. Very, very frightening. All right, we're looking good. Oh yeah, we've got this. Those minotaurs are nothing now against our knights. Look at that. Beautiful. Get a little blast action in there. Yeah. A hundred gold. That is quite nice. Plague doctors, tier three. 50 health, 20 damage, fast attack speed. Upon death leaves a poison pool that damages nearby enemies. Which is important, because normally it says also allies against the uh, AoE effects. A lot of spells have that, where it says that it's also attacking allies, which is a bit of a problem. But this one does only specify enemies, which might be huge. Very fast attack speed, 60 health, and melee. I gotta go with the shadows, right? Like, I got to. Let's uh, drop some of these and get those angels involved. I mean, we have bless. We have an we have a a style, an archetype, a class, a trait, a purpose. As I try to buy time to figure out what upgrades, do I want an upgrade? I want an upgrade. Let's just let's just get upgrades. Hmm. Yes. Let's go with the apprentices so we can start reducing our range and actually get some high quality range in all right there are yep there they are they're a little quicker all right let's get involved lightning very good the middle seems to be a bit of a problem maybe i should have buffed the cheddar that probably would have been a better choice wouldn't it no we can still do it. Buffing the Cherub. More fire support. Beautiful. Very good. Gladiators. Medium attack speed. 75 health. 20 damage. So comparing that to the Knights, which have more health, less damage, but attack faster. I wonder what the attack difference is between very fast and medium. Because to me, it seems like the Knights might just be potentially better. Um... Uh, but ultimately, uh, uh, maybe it's just more DPS with slightly less health. It's what one would argue, right? I'll go for the Knights. Because I know they are good. So we're going to remove three here. Add three there. Um, let's get an extra upgrade spin. More Knights. We'll take those. Remove three here. Add three there. Okay, so now we also have an incredible front line. 
which looks like it might be necessary. Courtesy of those Minotaurs everywhere. All right, we have one down. These two are about to fall. Yeah, they may have muscle, but we have number. Wonderful. Looking good. We're almost at level 20. We're almost at level 20. Ooh, do I want to get more cherubs? Yeah, I gotta get... Gotta get the numbers up. One, two, three. All right, we'll take that. Let's get an extra spin. More apprentices. One, two, three. Get those involved. Extra spin. More apprentices. One, two, three. Let's get another one. Just double down on it. Let's get a couple of gladiators, just because I want to see how they look. And how they feel. Maybe they're giants, who knows? No, they're just naked men running around. That's fine, I guess. Nothing wrong with a little bit of naked men here and there. Divine and holy, let's go. Probably should have shocked this. I'm not sure why I didn't. Well, because I wasn't paying attention. That's probably why. Goodbye, skeletal mages. Goodbye, Minotaur. Level 20. All right. Let's get more knights. Oh. We did it. All normal levels overcome. You have defeated all the normal levels in the limited version of mage and monsters. Oh, it's mage and monsters. I said magic and monsters earlier, didn't I? That's the same thing. It's a, it's magic. It's mages. If I called it sorcerers, we would have a bigger problem. Sorcerers of might and magic. No, wait. That's a whole different genre. End game. And now we're entering the end game. Spend all your gold now because you are not coming back. Oh, okay. So there's a little uh, fight till you die type of thing. Got it. I'm here for it. Let's drop that. Let's drop two of those. Get those maxed out. One, two, three. Max out our knights. Forgot to do that. Uh, one more for good luck. Perfect. One lonely elven archer remains. Mad lad to rule them all. All right, we do have a lot of incredible firepower now. End game round one. All right, our angels are flanking phenomenally. Next round. Now, do my units just die or do I get all my units back and it's just a matter of see how long I can last? And that's the, uh, the win condition to see if you can go all the way to whatever the end game is. It's very reminiscent of certain uh, multiplayer tower defense games where the final waves just are the same wave over and over and over again. But then, of course, you don't get your respawns. So I'm wondering if I get respawns right now. It looks like I get respawns. The waves just become stronger and stronger until you can no longer take it. Got it. All right. Mm. I probably should try to um, get into their back line. There you go. We're still carving a path through endgame round three. We're still doing it. Very good. Let's get those mages out of the way. There's two types of mages. These witches and these skeletal sorcerers. Damn mage and monsters. I can see what they did there. Let's get a cherub buffed up. Get some melee in the back line, some firepower as well. If nothing else, if they break through our melee, they have to go and back and forth, which gives us a lot of firepower time. Kite them around, tactics and all that. All right, looks good. One little knight to rule them all. Round four, fight. Okay. Let's see if I can buy time with this. And split up the side so we can flank them properly. Or if that was a mistake or not, I have no idea. Well, either way, most of their firepower has been taken out. Get that chair up there. 
All right, their mages are gone. More lightning. My cherub is dead. He fought bravely. My mages are the last one standing. Oh, the mage that could. The one mage that could get the knight in there. Back up. Look at that. I think we've got it. Ooh, I love these unit summons. They're very strong. All right, I think this is done the round we're going to die. I'm pretty sure this is where we fall. This is the end. It was good serving with all you bastards. Come on. Let's do some damage. Let's make them work for it. If we're going to die, we're going to make them work for it. Turns out they're making us work for it because I could not evaporate that backline properly. Yeah, you know, it happens. All right. Yeah, you got me. So you really have to ramp up hard. Get early level three as well as enough money to really get a lot of upgrades as well. Now, I did a lot of upgrade builds, which is not really... Um, I bought a lot of those upgrade hits, right? But they don't actually numerically make you stronger. They just give you units a little bit of gold as a, re uh, as a refund. I should probably get more coin and then actually get the damage upgrades, get the health upgrades. Because um, that probably might actually be more relevant in the end game. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I do not know. You can maybe find out. Because like I said, this game is free right now. And maybe you too will do an excellent effort. One excellent effort, please. It's on Steam. It's the demo. Curious to see where this game goes. Curious what will be added. Because like I said, it's only one person coding this game to the best of my knowledge. So impressive stuff either way. Let's keep an eye on it. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video with hopefully a new interesting game. Who knows? Either way. I'm out.